So why did Nashville top the list when it comes to luxury markets? Well, there's gonna be a couple of different reasons. So let's dive into what those are. things is our central location. It makes it really easy for executives to travel, whether it be to New York, Chicago, California. We have that ease. Plus, Nashville actually has over 65 different destinations for direct flight. So again, that is making it a really easy, accessible uh, location for those that do have to travel for work. Then we gotta take a look at another factor, which is our affordability, right? So. I've talked about this in previous videos, but Nashville, and here's the thing, I know that people are gonna say it, they're gonna tell me, well, like Nashville's getting more expensive. And it is true that the price of things have gone up in Nashville, but if we're looking overall relative affordability, Nashville is more affordable than the cities where these luxury buyers are coming from, right? So what they can get for their money here is more affordable than where they are. So their money goes further here, which makes it more affordable. Now, also, of course, when we're talking affordability, I have to mention it again. Tennessee is a no income state tax state, which in the long run, that equates to more money put back in your pocket, which means that again, somebody's money is going to go further here than in other states. That's why Nashville has continued to be a big draw for people, not only because we do have a no state income tax, but also the fact that we have lower property taxes than a majority of the country. Now, there has been an article that's come out recently in regards to seeing our property taxes increase. And let me tell you, that article, if you found it or if you read it, that article in particular is talking about Davidson County, which did have a 34% property tax hike back in 2020 to help deal with what was going on between the tornado that hit Nashville as well as the pandemic. That is not, not all counties are seeing that kind of property tax hike. That was for Davidson County alone. So I wanna make sure that if you have come across that article, I give context for it because I know a lot of times uh, the important context can be left out. So we do still have relatively low property taxes, especially compared to many other places in the country. And we have that no state income tax, which again, especially for those luxury buyers, that equates to more money going back in your pocket versus going to the state government. Nashville also has a really strong, growing, diverse economy. So not only have we seen a massive amount of businesses relocate their headquarters here because Tennessee is a business-friendly tax state. So not only are we seeing businesses relocate here for tax reasons and just general uh, good business sense purposes, we are also seeing businesses open up offices here. So Amazon opening an office here. We're seeing a lot of businesses come and open up here in the middle Tennessee area, which gives us a continued, diverse, growing, strong job economy. We have relatively low unemployment, especially very much low unemployment compared to what the nation is seeing on average. So we have a lot going for us. We also have strong industries here. We've got a strong tech industry, a strong healthcare industry, in addition to our entertainment industry. So all of this is bringing a lot of job talent and good jobs to the Nashville area, which makes it desirable for those very successful buyers that are coming to town looking for that luxury real estate. Then on top of it, we have to look at lifestyle. So one of the big drawing factors for people looking to relocate here to the Middle Tennessee area, especially those luxury buyers, we offer a wide variety of lifestyles. So not only are we having like big, beautiful luxury homes, we also are going to have high-end condos. We actually have the Four Seasons, which will be complete soon. So not only is the Four Seasons a hotel, but it does have residence, luxury, high-rise resident condos 
that have all sold out at this point, but we have those buildings. We also have other luxury high rises within downtown and the Gulch area. So if we have somebody that is looking for that, we absolutely have that kind of luxury lifestyle for those buyers. In addition to that, we also are going to have the luxury single family homes and we have a variety of that, right? So we have some that are gonna sit within Davidson County. So you still have that close proximity to the downtown area. And so some of those homes, they're gonna sit on a little bit of a smaller lot. So you'll be closer to neighbors, but they are stunning homes from luxury builders. But we also have homes that do sit on larger lots that again are within Davidson County, so it still allows you that close proximity to the airport, to downtown Nashville, to whatever it may be. So we offer that for luxury buyers, but then you go down into Franklin and you can get a wide variety there. You can get a luxury home in a really nice new luxury neighborhood, but you can also get a luxury home that sits on five acres or more if you're really looking for that more secluded lifestyle. And of course, Franklin, an extension of Franklin is the Leapers Fork area where you can find absolutely gorgeous luxury homes that do sit amongst the rolling hills so it does give buyers more of that country feel if that's what they are looking for and then on top of that we do have equestrian properties if horses are your thing we've got that if the lake is your thing we have luxury real estate on the old hickory lake which Kristen bell and dax shepherd the actor and actress they actually just bought on Old Hickory Lake. Kelly Clarkson used to have one right there off of Old Hickory Lake as well. So we offer a lot of different opportunity for different types of luxury real estate, which is really neat. It, it's almost something for everybody, depending on what kind of luxury real estate that you're looking for. And then of course you have to look at what Nashville as a city has to offer people. So we have a lot of the benefits of big city living without all the headaches that come from the big cities like traffic. Yes, we do have traffic, but it's not like an LA kind of traffic or Chicago kind of traffic or New York City kind of traffic. We got it, but it's nowhere near close to that kind of level. But we do have the professional sports team. We have our Tennessee Titans football team. We've got the Nashville Preds hockey team. We also have so many different entertainment venues. So of course, people will play at Nissan Stadium where the Titans play. We also have concerts that come to Bridgestone Arena, which is where the Preds play. But we also have singer-songwriter nights, which is a really big draw for people. We have the Ascend Amphitheater. We have lots of different entertainment venues. Even outside of the music industry, we have the Tea Pack where you're able to go and enjoy theater. We have a lot to offer no matter what it is that people are looking for. And if you're a foodie, Nashville is a foodie city. There are so, we are actually attracting a lot of attention from world renowned chefs who are now starting to consider opening places here if they haven't already. So, and I have been told that our, our food is still not on the level of LA, but in the 10 years that I've lived in Nashville, we have experienced Banded in terms of what we are able to offer. And there are some really neat niche restaurants that are really fun to try. So Nashville, again, it has a lot to offer the, the amenities of those really big cities without quite all the headaches that do come with it. And again, if people are looking for luxury real estate, we have a wide variety of luxury real estate depending on the kind of lifestyle that you're looking for and the type of property that you are looking for. So so if you are thinking about making a move and you are looking in the luxury area, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can actually, if you're ready to start that conversation with me, go ahead and click the link below where you can book a Zoom so we can start that conversation. Otherwise, if you're looking for more general information about making a move to the Nashville area, I do have my free Nashville relocation guide down below that you can grab. It's a free link. Just go ahead and click it and you will get a downloadable version of that. And if there's ever anything that myself or my team that we can do to answer questions for you, again, we are happy to just be here and be a resource for you. So please don't hesitate to reach out. My name is Caitlin Martin. I'll see you next time.